In an effort to spare you more of my tears, I'll keep this last introduction short and light. It is with great honor, pride, and a little surprise that I invite Nathan Leake into the spotlight. Nathan spends a great deal of his free time creating parodies to songs, Weird Al Yankovic style. In fact, I don't remember the last time I heard the actual lyrics to a song on the radio. Here's my husband, my best friend, and my often underestimated better half with his poem, I Watched Her. I watched her walk down the stairs, legs all the way up to her ass, and that ass being so nice. <laughs> that smile, I know it was for me. I haven't missed those mesmerizing eyes. I watched her walking across campus, naive to the world. She stood as tall and as beautiful as a campanile. That day was like yesterday. That dress, the look, the smile on my face told you how I feel. I watched her taking foreign level classes and helping me with all my papers as she graduated with honors in three. She often walked to campus town at 2 a.m. to drive me home and all with a smile for no fee. I watched her on the 98th of Hancock as we dined or in that carriage in that cold windy city when I asked for her hand or like every entrance, the one the one on her wedding day, she looked like a fairy tale princess, beautiful and grand. I watched her begin to lock herself in a life of blank stares with no care or concern. She had lost the keys and had no idea they even existed. She was in law school and had plenty to learn, but no interest. At times she had trouble peeling, her, peeling herself from our sheets in our bed. I watched her lose her self-confidence in her hunger to be around anyone. She struggled with being an attorney, but didn't have the heart to say. Her colleagues told me she was the best hire, but she didn't think she did anything for the client and surely wasn't worth the pay. I watched her try every med as the Sykes played Wheel of Misfortune. All I wanted was a, I love you, Nathan, so I could rest my head with these. I was in shock as I witnessed her become one of our cats and just want to sleep for 18 hours a day if I could only find those keys. I watched her laying there with no response, countless sleeping pills and a letter thanking me to take care of our cats. I carried her lifeless body into the emergency room, bypassing sirens and all those small town rumors and chats. I watched her, locked in isolation, safe from harm's way, but still locked up with her demons. She finally began to open up and explain her true thought. Like a six-year-old learning to explain the monsters, not in her bed, but the ones in her head that she continually fought. I watched her pull herself together to take a corporate job. They had no idea. All they saw was awards and attributes and how many hours she could bill. Two weeks later, back in the ICU with another attempt on her worthless life, I was trying to erase my, my mind. Countless beers were my sleeping pill. I watched her as if she was on death row. Her last try at freedom was to fry her brain. Would this finally erase the thoughts or be another failed attempt? I had no idea. All I cared about was my next beer or conversation with a female who could tell me I was handsome, my life of cold contempt. I watched her find the balance she was looking for. This wasn't a pill, but one does take it by opening their mouth and taking a deep breath. She became in tune with her body and mind. The drug was yoga, and thankfully, she became addicted, becoming her meditation meth. I watched her 
gained the strength and confidence to fight all life's battles. The glass was finally half full. She started to see why she had a place on this earth. She's the strongest person I know. Like a soldier who's fought many battles, her life's experiences taught her to forgive and a new life's rebirth. I watched her become exactly who I knew she would. My expectations were set way too high, but like she always does, she hurdled them with ease. It's easy to see why this show is so important to her. She holds an old-fashioned key ring, and it's one of the many keys. I watched her become my angel. It takes a lot more than strong shoulders to hold up the misconception of reality as we look into the mirror. And I'm proud to walk hand in hand with my friend as we tell our story. Remember, remember the past and shed a tear. Fast forward to the present and who you see on this stage bringing Des Moines this great show. Our 15 year marriage has been an uphill battle, but also one that has taught us to cope and grow. Giving credit to our therapist, doctor, yoga, fitness, family, friends, and even our bartender at times, <laughs> has given us the ability to fight our daily demons and me the ability to write these silly rhymes. No manual or recipe can teach us about happiness. No instructor or book can tell us to smile. We hold the keys to our future and memories of our past, all that give us our artistic style. As we drop the mic, we both hope the stories you have witnessed today have made you think. We are all in this battle together. Society is one, from our nation's capital to your local precinct. Thank you. <laughs>